Residents of this neighborhood just north of Ybor City love the quiet streets and convenience. You can ride your bike to downtown, and it's historic, diverse. You can't really ask for much else this close to downtown. But Kim Headland of the Neighborhood Association knows VM Ybor has its problems. Nestled in the crook of I-275 and I-4, there are 120 vacant homes, and three of them have had fires since April. Our neighborhood is relatively small, so three fires in a short period of time is, is concerning. Especially since the epidemic of arsons the area suffered in 2009 and 2010. A man suspected of setting as many as a dozen fires was ultimately charged in one case. But neighbors now suspect these recent fires may have been started by squatters in vacant houses like this one on Holmes Avenue that burned last month. The hardest thing is that we've had to do is to actually deal with, with the vacant properties that are owned by banks out of state. And that actually serving legal notice is tough on us. Tampa Code Enforcement Director Jake Slater says boarding up and securing vacant properties takes time. Kim Hedlund thinks it takes too much time. We noted this house as being opened, unsecured, and appeared to be squatted in back in early May, May 6th to be exact, and we reported it. Um, unfortunately, here we are, July, and it still isn't secured. In fact, it was a year and a half before code enforcement finally boarded up this home on Forest Avenue. The department has just 25 inspectors serving a community with over a third of a million residents. Is it physically possible for them to stay on top of this workload? We actually do our best. Uh, we have experienced uh, officers, inspectors here, and I think that we do a pretty good job overall. I do. Okay. I'm awful proud of them.